Well, hello guys. Uh, in my previous video, um, I did an install of Corora onto a MacBook Pro. Now, I chose Corora um, because it was the only distribution I could find at the time that I could install Linux onto a MacBook Pro uh, as a single boot. <clears throat> I didn't have to have Mac OS on it at all. Uh, Fedora and Corora would both do it wonderfully, but I chose Corora because it has a device manager that would let me install the wireless very, very easily. But now I've stumbled onto an, a, a, a little thing here that I can now install Linux Mint. As you'll see that we're actually installed to a live CD because this is the install Linux Mint. This is actually a live CD. This isn't um, a hard drive it's booted to. But what I've done is uh, when you run, run the, this is after the installer's done and I've got Linux Mint installed onto the hard drive of the MacBook Pro. When you get to the end of the installer, it will ask you to restart or continue testing. You wanna click continue testing so that you'll get back to this desk, blank desktop. And what you do is you open terminal. Now, just to make things simple for me, I, I do sudo dash i, enter, and that puts me in. I'm logged in as root. Now I don't have to do sudo in front of anything. And so what I do is I go apt get install if I boot MGR. Whoops. Ah, can't spell install. Uh, apt get install with an S if I boot MGR. And that's going to install EFI boot manager. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do EFI boot MGR. Now you'll notice that it shows the current boot and it's booted to 0000. Uh, the timeout is five seconds and the boot order is 0080 and 0000. And then it shows a list of the, of the boot devices. Well, on this particular hard drive of this MacBook Pro, I tried to install Manjaro on it once, and so it still shows up out there. I don't know why. Um, but you'll see that the boot order is 0080 as being the first thing it boots to. Well, 0080 is nothing. There's nothing there. So this is the reason why you can't boot to Linux Mint after you install it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to where it 0000 is first. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to go EFI boot MGR dash O space 0 comma 80. And this is going to swap those two numbers. Now you'll see that 0000 is before 0080. And this is all you need to do to get Linux Mint to boot as a single boot on a MacBook Pro. Have fun playing around with this and enjoy Linux Mint on a MacBook Pro.